Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query in which we are going to convert the data in different rows into a single delimited string. So let's get started. We are going to be working with sample data, sample project data. So I have created a table and I have three columns in the table, project ID, project name and manager name. So you can see that the different managers and for different projects, they can be the same manager. So one manager can have more than one project assigned to him. So now what we want to do is create a list of all the projects assigned to each manager, and we want to delimit them by a pipe. So let's see how we can use the aggregate functions in SQL to achieve this. So it's very simple. We already have a function that can be used. So what I'm going to do is in the first step, just select the manager name, and then I'm going to use the function, which is going to be string underscore AGG function or string aggregation function. And it is here being suggested. And what you need to do is give the column name which you want to concatenate the data from. So I want to concatenate the project name. So that is the column name that I'm going to give here, project name. And then you have to define the delimiter that you want. So let's say I want the delimiter as a pipe. So I'm going to give the delimiter as a pipe over here and then just close your bracket. Okay, so now we can just execute this query. And this is not going to work because you have to go by the manager name, obviously. So here we have added the group by manager name. And then if we execute the query, you would see that the data has been concatenated by the pipe delimiter. So now under Amy, we have got the projects, data analytics and reporting under Brad profiling data lake and so on. Now this is not very neatly formatted. So let's add a space to this pipe so it looks better and run a query again. So now this looks a little bit better. Now, what are the variations or what are the various options that can be uh, used with this function? Uh, so there might be a requirement on your side wherein you want to order these project names in an ascending order or a descending order. So there is a feature for that wherein you can use the within group clause and then use order by whatever column you want to order by. So we want to order by the project name itself. So order by project name. And then uh, let's execute this once again. So in this case, you will see that they have been uh, ordered alphabetically. So for Tom, there's big data. So B, then D, and then L. So in an alphabetic order, they have been sorted in an ascending manner. If you want to do it in a descending manner, you can just say descending, and it would be done in the reverse order. So now for Tom, we have lineage, data quality, and big data. Now, one thing to note over here is that, uh, let's do a select again and take a look at the data. So we just do a select start from the review projects. So let's just execute this portion of the query. Uh, you would see that there are different rows. And if you go to the bottom of the data, you would see that there is a record for Tom where the project name has been mentioned as null. So now for Tom, if you see, uh, let's just order by manager name here. And let's go to Tom. So for Tom, we can see that there are four projects assigned to Tom, big data, null lineage, and data quality. But when we look at the results of the string act function or AGG function, so I'm going to remove this portion again. And now let's execute this query again and look at the result for Tom. We see that there are only three projects being concatenated. So the null value is ignored by the string uh, aggregation function. So it is not counted and no delimiter is placed for that null value. So that is the only thing that you need to keep in mind 
in case you want the null value also to appear then the only option that you have got is to first coalesce you know, use a function coalesce or is null function or whatever function is applicable for converting that null value to something like maybe not applicable any so you have to do that as an intermediate step and then you have to use the string aggregation function to concatenate it into a single string so that is how you can do it if you still want that record with the null value to show as an output of the string aggregation function so this is very simple and this is how you can use this function to concatenate the value in different rows into a single delimited string i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks a lot for watching